Alright, hello everyone, it's GSTAR321 here again and we are back with more Mortal Kombat Armageddon's Conquest mode. We are up to part 10, Shao Kahn's Fortress. So yes, we are still currently in Shao Kahn's Fortress, however this is the second part. In the first part we went through the outer compound and the dungeon, and in this part, the second part, we're going to go through the third level and the throne room. So currently we're on the third level and if I bring up the map, this is what it looks like. It's a very, very small area. It's basically just this room we're standing in front of. Why is it so small? Well, it's because all we're going to do here on the third level is take care of that giant stone statue of Shao Kahn. Once we move forward, it comes to life and we have to fight it. So this is like a sort of boss fight, sub-boss fight. He can be extremely difficult if you don't know what to do, but once you do know what to do, it is pretty easy. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. I could release their power, but I can't reach them. Yes, so make sure you listen to Taven there because it gives you a clue as to what to do in order to defeat Shao Kahn Colossus here. So if you look around the room, there are four po fucking hell. There are four podiums, one here, one there, and two on the other side of the room. Now, atop each podium is a circle with a glowing orb inside. What you need to do is shoot your fireball at each of the glowing orbs. So shoot your fireball at all four. One there, one there, and look, you can see it lights up when you shoot your fireball at it. So shoot it at this one, and one more over there. Maybe I can focus the orb's energy on the statue when I trap the statue in the center of the room. Yep, so what you need to do now is trap Shao Kahn Colossus in the middle of the red circle like that. Go over here, ground pound the symbol on the floor, and that the happens. The orbs weaken the statue. I'll need to do that again to finish it off. Yes, so we need to do that again to finish him off. He's only really got two attacks, Shao Kahn Colossus. That attack, oh god, get away. Yeah, the red projectiles that he shoots out from his eyes, I believe. And if you get close to him, he'll do a ground pound with his fist. And if you're right next to him, it will kill you outright. Fuck, no special meter left. Grab that. Okay, one more orb to light up. This one. Maybe Done. Let's get him in the middle. Stay the fuck away from me. And this should do it. This should kill him. I love that. That's an awesome death scene. He just shatters into pieces. Love it. So once you take care of Shao Kahn Colossus, that giant stone statue of him, a chest appears and this will contain Shao Kahn's alternate costume. There it is. So yeah, look, that can be a pretty tough fight because I find the red projectiles a lot of the time are quite hard to dodge. They seem to just home in on you. What you can do is you can go in here and grab that health item if you need it. but. You can't initially. You have to reduce his health halfway, so you have to hit him at least once first before you can go in here. Because these rooms are blocked off with fire to start with until you hit him. So yeah, with him taken care of, we can now start entering all these little rooms which contain goodies. Break that. Over here is a gold chest. Kick that open for the Elder God's female armor helmet. And we'll go in the room directly opposite. Yes, there's a green aura over there. That's where we need to go. But just make sure you run around. 
collecting all the items, all the goodies first. Elder God's Mail Armor Cape, awesome, and Relic number 54 is here. Kintaro's Armor, cool. Two more rooms to loot. Over here, Relic number 55, Goro's Gauntlets, and a chest containing Raiden's alternate costume. There it is. Not a bad alternate costume. I like it. Even though he's not wearing the hat, I still don't mind that costume. And the last room here will contain relic number 56, Sheba's Earrings. Okay, and I believe that is all that there is in this room, this large area. So let's, I mean, if you need replenishment, you can go over here and break these statues, but I don't think it matters. Yeah, I'm on full anyway. So let's go to the green aura now, where we'll get a cutscene. Enjoying the view. Who are you? What are you doing here? At ease, Shokan. I am looking for Quan Chi. Have you seen him? He is with the Emperor. I am Goro. I have been ordered to let no one pass under penalty of death. My death? Or yours? <laughs> yep, so we need to take care of Goro here. He can be pretty tough, but this combo seems to work best against him. This is a great combo, and like a lot of the other sort of boss characters, you can't air juggle Goro, which is a bit of a shame, but that's fine. Just do your ground pound move straight after that combo, and you should be able to defeat him pretty easily. Fight! Yep, that's it. I'm going to use all my breakers in this round, I can just tell. Ooh. Straight into the ground pound. Breaker, yep. Always after that combo, if he blocks it, he goes in for an attack, so I tend to just do a breaker straight. Fuck! Ugh! <sighs> Alright, I've got no breakers. This is going to be a bit difficult. I've got to get away from him. I'm too fucking close. Yeah, I had no breakers there, so nothing I could do. Fuck, what the hell am I doing jumping into him? The most retarded thing you can fucking do. <laughs> Actually got him during that move. That was surprising. As Goro skulked away, he shouted, You have bested me this time, son of Argus, but should we meet again on the field of battle, you will not be so lucky. Go away. So now that we've taken care of Goro, we have made our way to Shao Kahn's fortress throne room. And this is what it looks like. This is the map for the throne room. Another pretty short area, but let's do it. Just run up here, collect all the coin bags, kick this open for some more coins. 500 to be exact, we'll go through here. This will extend your super meter bar by a little bit. Oh, no, it extended my health by a little bit. Sometimes it's actually extended my super meter bar by a little bit. I don't know, it's fucking weird. On on some test runs previously, it did actually extend my super meter bar, so yeah, it's pretty weird that one, I'm not sure what's going on there. Okay, so currently we're in what's known as the map room. This is where we are situated, and there are, as you can see, these guards walking around. This is a pretty tough fight. They're, they're pretty weak in that they don't have that much health, but they have an extremely fucking annoying attack where they electrocute you. They send out this lightning that comes raining down upon you. It is bloody frustrating. 
So to start the fight, just go ahead and do that to one of them. It is a pretty big fight. There's so many of these guys to take care of. They just keep spawning. Yeah, so look. And they do a jumping attack with their weapon as well. Not sure what weapon that is. It sort of looks like a monk spade. Ah, a monk spade. Okay. Yeah, so look, they don't have that much health, but... Watch, watch what's going to happen. See the ones that are far away? There'll be at least one. Yep, see how they send this lightning out? Look, it's bloody frustrating. I can't even begin to express how annoying that is. You've got to just keep being on the move here. You can't stuff around at all. Okay, just you go away. Gotcha. You're dead. Okay. Fireball. Didn't get anyone. That is disgusting. They can be a bit hard to chase down as well. They're pretty nimble, I have to say. Oh, God. And they just don't... Like, they don't give you any breathing room. They're constantly in your face. Unless they're standing at a far far away distance shooting out the lightning but the majority of them will just look look at them they just keep running they just don't let you gain any ground whatsoever you cannot fucking rest so aggressive I hate these guys there goes that lightning that jumping attack I hate it lightning you're gonna stop doing that Christ Try and take care of one, and another one just gets in behind and starts beating you up. What a cheap, cheap son of a bitch. Yeah, so look, we're only just over halfway in terms of completing this fight, so it is a rather large fight. It does go on for a little while. That and that. You're dead. Ouch. There's the lightning. Stop that. Stop it. There we go. So once you take care of all of them, then there is a coin here to collect. 50 to be exact. And there will be another relic over here. It's Raiden's hat. Look. Relic number 57. Awesome. Now we've only got one way to go now. We can't go in this door. So where we need to go is to the green aura. But first, have a look. As you can see, that torch there is lit. That one is not. And what we need to do is shoot our fireball at it. And that will send out a, another relic. Relic number 58, Reiko's chest piece. Now, we're going to get a cutscene here once we go towards the green aura where we meet up with Reiko. This fight against Reiko is... Look, it's notoriously known as one of the hardest fights in Armageddon's Conquest mode. I personally don't have that much trouble with it. On my first couple of test playthroughs, I actually killed him straight up, first go. And I think the key is, you just have to be so damn aggressive on him that he just doesn't have any chance to do anything. Like, you know, the AI just loves being in your face, getting in really, really close and not giving you any ground. That's what you got to do to Reiko to defeat him. If you back off, if you run away, that's it. You're toast. You can't do that. Although, look, admittedly, on my most recent test playthrough, I did die <laughs> quite a few times on Reiko and it was giving me the shit so I'm not sure how this fight's gonna go it could be done in one go it may take 10 of course if it's gonna take that many goes I'll just edit it out and put in the successful attempt but yeah I'm just I just have no idea how this fight is gonna pan out I'm scared to be honest I'm very very scared. Here we go. Well, 
Well done. Those were elite guards. If you say so. I assume you are here to kill the Emperor. If anyone deserves to die, it's Shao Kahn. But I'm here for someone else. Quan Chi. Ah yes, he is in the next room with the others. As much as I would like to see him die, I have been charged to protect the Emperor's allies. I am Reiko, general to Shao Kahn's army. The Emperor could use warriors such as yourself. Mm, as a rule, I don't ally myself with egotistical madmen. Hmm. Then I'm afraid I will have to kill you. Oh dear, here we go. This is it. This is the turning point. This is the moment Round where it can all one. fall apart. Fight. I don't know what to say about this fight. I just... I... I don't know what to say. Just... Okay, there goes two of my breakers already. Yep, parry. There goes all my breakers. So now I've just got to rely on... I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck's going on. Okay, you can still cheap him out. Okay, good. Whew. Whew. Okay, you can still, yeah, cheap him out with the old ground pound into shoulder barge tactic. Fuck! And I hate that move, that teleport bullshit move. I need breakers. I don't have any. Yeah, so, yep, there you go. Do another one, come on. Oh, shit, that was stupid of me. I thought he was gonna jump. Yeah, and he always. Nah, that's it. I'm done. Yep. Whenever he gets a combo in on you, he goes full force with that combo. He doesn't just do half combos, he does combos all the way. Air juggles everything. You watch, look. See? <clears throat> oh shit. Oh yes. Oh come on. We can do this. Do it, Taven. Do it. Fucking do it. Oh yes, there we go. God. Whew. So, you know, for me personally, it's it's an annoying fight, but I don't find it to be that hard. Out of all the fights so far, I think the rain fight has got to be the most disgusting fight. And that was in Arctica, the fourth part of Armageddon's Conquest mode. So here we go, limping off in great pain. Reiko remarked, if I must finally fail in my duty, it is a great irony that it will allow the death of Quan Chi. Good. I was really stressing out over that fight, but now that that's taken care of, we can go through here. And up ahead, towards the green aura, you can see that that's an obelisk. So yes, we have some more training missions to complete here, some trials. These will be the last set of trials to complete, our last bit of training. And it's funny, look, welcome back young warrior, your training has only begun. What the hell are you talking about? This is it, this is the last time we ever do this. There are five trials in total, and they're all pretty easy except for the last one. But I'll talk about that once we get up to it. Blaze is too powerful to destroy in this form, maybe he can be weakened. Perhaps the essences are the key. So this is just a joke, I mean all you do here is run around collecting these orbs, ten of them, and that's it, it's over. So two, three, all you gotta do is just dodge the fire, that's it. Four, okay I just got hit there, that was stupid. Five, I think that's five, unless I've miscounted. Six, seven, God damn it. Eight. Nine. 
Nine. Should be one more, and that will do it. Well yep, that's done. it. So all you do is collect ten orbs, and that trial is done. Kick open the chest for 2,500 coins. And we will continue. Blaze has been weakened. Strike him down with the fury of the gods. So this is easy. All we do is just fight him like this, toe to toe. Throws tend to do quite a bit of damage on him, I find. So what I like to do is this combo where I launch him. Oops, I'll try and do that again. Grab him, do that one, and then that. And I find that does quite a bit of damage. See, that last throw especially does a nice chunk of damage. Even that one. And he's almost dead. Yep, that's it. Of course, if you shoot your fireball at him, it will do nothing. So kick open the chest for another reward, 2,500 coins. Trial number three. The sounds of battle have attracted the attention of this domain's master and he does not seem pleased. Shao Kahn. We have to fight Shao Kahn. He's easy. You can air juggle Shao Kahn. Fight! Like so. You've just got to be a bit careful of his attacks because they do tend to do a lot of damage. He doesn't hit you that much, but when he does, it really does hurt, you know what I mean? Just stop it, Shao Kahn. Ground pound into shoulder barge. I've still got two breakers, so we'll get through this, no problem. <laughs> Some of those air combos, air juggles are hilarious. Ooh! Gonna have to start using some of these breakers. Oh god, he's... That was my last breaker. He may kill me here, I'm not sure. Oh no, did it? Good. So now we're up to trial number four. Well done. Let's get our reward. 1500 coins. You have done well to make it this far, but can you defeat one that is your equal? So we have to actually fight our brother here, Dagon. Exactly the same strategy that we did in terms of defeating Blaze. Or you can just do like that combo, that's pretty good, it sends him flying. I'm not sure if using fireballs or anything actually works, let's test it. Yeah, I didn't think it would. I don't know why. Special moves don't do shit for some reason. So he's almost dead. That slide is bloody annoying. There we go. Thirty-two hundred coins. All right, now this trial, the fifth trial, and the final trial, our last, last, very last training trial. This is. I don't know if I'd say it's the hardest. There was a really hard trial in the Netherrealm Cliffs. I believe it was trial four. But this, it's hard, okay? Make no mistake, this is a very difficult trial. Let's have a read. Taven, you've grown powerful, but have yet to reach your full potential. This is your final test. Come, let your parents show you the power that burns in your soul. So, before I even press X to start this trial, let me just tell you what happens. Basically, you have to fight Dagon again. Pretty much how we did in just the previous trial, trial number four. However, there's a difference. When you're fighting him, 
you've got both your parents shooting out lightning at you so you have to contend with that not only that you've got about three or four maybe more I'm not sure Dagon clones with just a small amount of health running around attacking you as well now the goal is to destroy the main Dagon killing the clones does nothing except gives you health and special meter bar so what I like to do to get rid of them is just the ground pound special move and then I go ahead and take care of the real Dagon like I did in the previous trial, trial number four, just doing regular combos and shit. But it's just your parents shooting out lightning at you which really makes this trial hard. I may die a couple of times, but yeah, look. Okay, so there goes the clones. That's got to be the real one. Yep. The real one doesn't get hurt by the ground pound, so watch. See how he's just standing up? Jesus. I haven't done any damage to him yet, and I've got no special meter bar. This is... I'm going to have to do this. Yep. You know what's funny? I tend to find that I always die the first time. Like, I don't think I've actually done this on my first attempt ever. I don't even know if it's possible. It's that fucking bullshit. And... I find that on subsequent attempts, like here when it says try again, it tends to get a bit easier. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Maybe I just start playing better. I don't know. But let's see. There's the real one. So yeah, just go ahead and do that combo and bang to get rid of the clones. Fuck that lightning. Okay, they're all surrounding me. Go away. That lightning is absolutely fucked. The worst. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. Fuck's sake. Hit that fucking piece of shit. Mm! God, I can't do a ground pound. Can I do it now? Yes. Hit him. Kill him. There we go. Good. Okay, not too bad. Did it on my second attempt. But yeah, that can be... Even though it's not a very long trial, you know, it didn't take me too long to complete there. It is pretty hard. You've just got to focus on the main Dagon, the real one, and kill the clones by doing the ground pound special move. There has been a couple of times in the past on previous test runs where I don't know what happened. I think like my parents glitched out and they didn't shoot lightning out at me. It was weird. Like maybe I shot a fireball at one or did a ground pound. I'm not sure what happened because I have actually tried shooting a fireball and ground pounding them before and it doesn't work. So yeah, I don't know. They've glitched out a couple of times and it's made this trial a lot easier. I don't know how that happened and I have never been able to successfully replicate it. But in any event, that's how you get through that trial. You go open the chest for a nice reward of 5,000 coins. I am done teaching you today. Take what you have learned and seek your destiny. So that's it. No more training missions to go through. No more trials. We are done. We're fully trained up, and now all we need to do is go through this now opened door, kick open the chest for more coins, 1000 coins, and head to the green aura for a cutscene. And that is why we must put our differences aside and join forces. Why should we believe you, Quan Chi? Why should we trust you? I will not join an alliance of traitors! Shang Tsung, Shao Kai, Onaga, my comrades. We are all treacherous by nature, and betrayal is to be expected. But if we do not stand together, 
At least initially. It could mean the end of darkness. I stand with no one. I will claim the prize and with it destroy you all. Onaga. Emperor Onaga. Not anymore. <laughs> you haven't been listening to what Quan Chi has told us. The forces of light also seek to acquire this power. You cannot defeat them alone. Only if we join forces does one of us have a chance of winning the prize. But which one of us? If Onaga is the victor, he could use that power to overthrow you. I'll take that chance. Hmm. What of the brothers? What can be done about them? I have trapped one of them in Earthrealm. The other is in Edenia. We must go there now. Our allies are waiting. To war! Do not go through that portal. Raiden, you look different. But I'm glad you're here. I need your help. Shao Kahn and his allies are planning something. It is none of my concern. I don't understand. You always fought against Shao Kahn's forces. Now he's planning another battle and you won't lift a finger? We must not stand idly by. We must stop this- No, Taven. I have struck a deal with the Emperor. Shao Kahn will honor Earthrealm's independence when his forces have won. When he's won? What are you saying? Why would that lunatic spare Earthrealm? Because in return, I will prevent you from completing your quest. Hmm, Raiden. I don't like that. I don't like what you've done. Struck a deal with Shao Kahn. So we're going to take care of you. He's relatively easy. I don't think I've ever died on Raiden. But now that I've said that, I will die. <laughs> Use those breakers, Taven. Use them. Ooh, air breaker. Fuck. Looks like I'm going to lose the first round, yeah. And I've got no breakers left. That's a that's a pretty dire situation to be in. To go into the second round after you've lost the first round with no breakers. That's a that's a really demoralizing situation. But it looks like we're gonna turn it around here. Into our favour. That staff has pretty long reach. Raiden staff, so just be careful of it. Raiden's Fight. awesome in this game. I love that costume as well. Dark Raiden. Kicks ass. Fuck off. Get as far away. <laughs> Got him while he was doing his torpedo. Okay. Looks like he might... Oh. We're sort of neck and neck here. One ground pound. Yes, that will do it. I cannot believe that Raiden would side with the enemy. Since this quest began, nothing has made sense. My entire life has been turned upside down. I want to abandon the quest, but if I do, Dagon will win. And he has become far too corrupt to replace Father as Protector. At this moment, the forces of darkness are invading Edenia. There must be something I can do to stop them. At last, home in Edenia. They appear to be somewhere near the ancient craters of the Southlands. My brother, Shao Kahn, and his allies, they are all here somewhere. And they will all die here. Who are you? I am Scorpion. I seek revenge. 
Revenge against me? Against the Elder Gods. They betrayed me. As reward for doing their bidding, they promised to resurrect my clan. They are no longer dead. They are the undead. For this treachery, I will eliminate the Elder Gods' only means of saving the realms from Armageddon. I will destroy both your brother and you. Fight! Alright, so here we are in the Adenian Ruins, and this is actually the final part of Armageddon's Conquest Mode. So I'll leave it here, and I will save that for the next video. I'll see you then. I'm out.